Hej och välkomna! Idag så tänkte jag att vi skulle ta en lite närmare titt på Dromida Touring Car. Ja, I have done some uh, couple of upgrades on it. As well as uh, paint job. It's not the most beautiful paint job in the world. It most certainly isn't the worst. But it's like, yeah, in the top 2 million maybe. <laughs> so, I'm going to show you on the other camera. So you guys won't be seeing this one from this angle, but from this angle. So, say hi and welcome to Dromeda Touring Car. I really like this one. It was my uh, first Dromeda Touring Car. And, uh, yeah. I bought it in the store for like 70 bucks, I think, 70 dollars. It was at the extra price. And uh, yeah, I'm really happy with it. It's like a beginner's car, but it's a beginner's car to the hobby RC world. Because you can do so much stuff with it. I've bro broken so much, many th it's a really cool car, a really fun car. And I went with a brushless version, so <laughs> it's a really fast car. And you can use 2S LiPo. Or even 3S LiPo. And I mostly drive this on 2S LiPo. But sometimes I take it out for a ride with a 3S. And that's just mind blown. It's so fast. So let's take a look under the bonnet. This is how it looks. I made a couple of dirt protectors on the back side. For my own sake. And uh, this is a gyro, it's not supposed to sit here, it's pretty loose right now, but I'm gonna put it here. I haven't done it yet, but I'm gonna. So yeah, here you see the little brushless motor. It's uh, 5300 kV. And it's really, really fast. I don't know if you can read the uh, 2S, 3S cell lipo. What else can we say about this? It's so good that I bought two more. One of which is this much left on it. So it's like comp completely... I can show you on this camera too so you see it a little better. So I just used parts from this one to put on this one and my other one. I got the Rally, this is the Touring one. But I got the Rally version as well. So I got all the spare parts somewhere. I don't have to show you all the spare parts but I can show you some. So, my spare parts of the Dumidas. Except for this one. This is the new box. This is the old box. So in the new box, I have some new uh, wheel bearings. I have a new motor that, got, that I got from my friend, the uh, Gordo RC. I put a link in the description to his uh, website. No, his YouTube. He's a really good guy. Good movies, good uh, Instagram. You should go follow his Instagram too, I put it down in the description. Here I have some um, wheel bearings, wheel carriers, front and back in aluminum. Uh, I have a, a drive shaft, middle drive shaft in aluminum. I already put one inside here. I got that also from uh, Gordo RC. I have a spare uh, servo. It's always good to have a spare servo with metal gears. There's metal gears in all my RCs except the Summit. That one has the double original 2080 Traxxas ones, plastic. And here's a couple of more uh, drive shafts in plastic. And the uh, mini bar, battery holder, 
This is for the um, rally. It's a little bit higher body. I actually have the body for the rally right here. And in these old spare parts, I have some like old spares that still is usable. But yeah, they're old, so I save them. But I don't know if I'm gonna use them anyway. This is just some spare old screws and whatnot. There's a receiver slash ESC in one, two in one. That's pretty common for the brush, brush uh, motor. Brushless is have a separate, but the brushed version usually this. This is a brushed motor, Dromeda M371. It's pretty good, but I haven't used it, so it's brand new. And then I have some, yeah. There's another servo. I think it works, but. And some shocks, spur gear, a wing, and steering things for the spur gear. I got a couple of things, so that's good to have. So I'm just gonna put them back. And this is the rally body, brushless version. The brushed version I think is green. This one was also blue at first, but I painted it, so you're gonna see that later. I really like the Rodley model with the wing back and everything. So I think I'm gonna do some cool, cool stuff with this one. I haven't decided yet, but it's pretty undamaged. <laughs> so what can we say about this one? It has the Slideology gyro, which is very nice. It has Metal Gear Emax servo. ESC is uh, original, but I changed out the connectors to Deans. I run all my batteries and everything with Deans, so that's why. And the motor is also original. And then we have, it's pretty hard to see. Inside here we have uh, aluminum uh, hub carriers, aluminum uh, in the middle. The drive shafts are still uh, plastic, but uh, they're holding. And same in the front, we have the aluminum hub carriers and aluminum inside here. And it's a little bit hard to see. If we do it like this and we just tilt it up. See this blue one in here is a drive shaft in aluminum. So that's really really nice. It's got a pretty hard suspension. But it's good. I use black rims in the back and uh, silver in the front. I have silver in the back also. But those are rally tires. And I want to go with touring. There's not so much thread back uh, on the back here, but it's fun for drifting. And with the gyro it's really easy to drift. So, there's nothing more than to turn it on for you. Let you hear it roar. I'm just gonna put this one under here. We are taking the controller, it's like this, nothing fancy. We are taking a battery out of the LiPo bag. It's always good to have a LiPo safe bag. And we're using a 2S. I always tape my batteries so I can uh, remember which one I use and don't use. So we just plug it in like so. It's plugged in now. Uh, it's a 2S 1500 mAh from Maxam. And always, always remember to put this one on first. If you do not do that, the car can go bananas and pull away in full speed. So it's just to turn this one on. And you hear two bips, that means the it's a 2S LiPo. The gyro has uh, connected and is ready. That's why it's blinking. Uh, this one is on, check if it works. not the best on turning because of uh, the plastic arm. I really wanted the uh, aluminum but it's hard to get. So let's see what happens if we push the gas. Oh. 
Really smooth, really nice. Let's see if we can get a bubble. I know you shouldn't do this, but it's fun to see. So I wanted you guys to see it. This is just on 2S LiPo. So yeah, there you have it, the Dromeda Touring 118 scale brushless version. So we're saying goodnight to you. Always remember to unplug the battery, put it back in the safe box and just lock it. LiPo safe bag for your protection. So. Uh, we can have a look at the body now. This is the Dromeda Touring body. Upgraded and painted. I went with an all black color because I really like it. And actually I banged up the front here. And instead of like fixing it, I just cut it out. Put a piece of uh, steel uh, platter here. So it's pretty damn hard. And it looks so cool I think. It really get a mean look to it. And underneath we have installed some uh, lights. So there's four lights in the back. And also in the front there are four lights. And those I have uh, plugged in and taken away the paint here. So instead of having uh, the lights stick out like this, there's actually a light underneath the plastic. And I haven't really seen that on a Dromeda except on my friend's uh, Gordo Arsi. He's done a really cool job with the, he's got the blinkers and backlights and brake lights and everything. So you should really check out his page. And we can plug it in to see how it works. Like that. And then we put this one on. See the battery hanging out there. I was just thinking about getting a little battery to plug in here like so the radio is still on put it on here we're actually gonna put out the light so you can see it it looks really cool and from the back So, the whole well, then we have uh, gone through uh, the most of it. Gonna push the uh, lights on again. I almost forgot about you guys, but I'm still here and you still here, so all good. So, if you have any questions about this uh, car, any upgrades. Any questions at all about my channel or anything, just hit the subscribe button, push a like, push in a comment, do whatever you feel is right. I, if you don't want to, you don't have to. This is Thank you for watching and see you in the next picture. Psst, by the way, watch this video or this video and subscribe to this channel. See you guys.